Hi folks, bit of mass production this morning. A couple of seven and a half inches by uh, eleven inches. It's um, also got a paper, the studio stuff, the cheaper one. It's about thirty percent rag. And the rest cellulose, but there's enough rag in that. I'm sure to make that um, pretty durable. And um, unprimed. I've got a, I've got a, I've covered like this because I've got this mount, which is not, uh, this is one from out of an actual picture frame. But it just doesn't quite, it just covers the height, but not, but more than covers the width. So I've, so I'll use that just to, to put on at the end. And we'll see how we, how we go. Uh, I want to do uh, sort of a meadow and maybe a salt marsh or something. But I want to show a bit of a, Bit of a, a bit of a river, a bit of background. A nice bunch of trees here. Some distant, distant ones, that'll do. And here, well, my favourite uh, salt marsh is Chichester Salt Marsh in East Sussex. Uh, And some going across the distance here, a bit of a... Okay, that'll do. If you're interested in the pencil, it's a Koenor uh, for sale or something. I can't, the, the, the lettering is gone. But it's a, it's a clutch pencil like, with a wacky great 4B lead in it. Terrific thing. And you can sharpen it up with a bit of sandpaper, is what I do, if you want, or just carve it with a knife. But it's a lovely, lovely thing to have. And if it's a more point to that, you can do your sudokus, however you say it. Uh, right, finish me bovril. I've got four colours here. Uh, ultramarine, cad red, yellow ochre and cadmium yellow pale. I make my greens from those three primaries and the the ochre just to lighten with, with white. So they're kind of simple paintings, but we know it's not that simple, don't we? We know we have to practice these things, do loads. I've done years of this. Some would say, well, you should be better than you are, but anyway, uh, I wish. Uh, I've got I've got a short flat here, and a, I'll use the short flat just to get a bit of sky. I won't paint them both simultaneously. I'll do one first, and then we'll we'll start the other one. Um, and then at the end, if they're any good, we'll uh, I'll put them in in the mount or put the mounts on them, and then we'll see what we've got. Uh, right, okay, plenty of oil because you want the 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 oil to soak into the paper and as you go the paper tends to dry because the oil is sucked out of the paint with the, with this, with the paper and you can build up an impasto if, if you want. So let's get a bit, a bit of nice dark sky in, or a bit of sky. I'm, I'm going to go to the top on these and the bottom just to cover the bit that if I leave a border there it will show in that mount. Good fun eh? Had a lot of overnight rain in London. It's, uh, but I got in the bike ride yesterday. I haven't been for four a couple of words too. I miss two because we go every Tuesday, my two or three of us, and uh, we don't go in when it's raining and we don't go when it's icy. And we've had some icy weather and cold, so I didn't go. But yesterday the, the rain stopped about nine o'clock, and so off we went. And you know those um, gates, those alternate gates that stop motorcyclists going onto foot, footpaths and cycleways. Well, I, bash, I crashed into one of those as I was trying to wheel, work my way around it. 
I grazed my arm on the corner of one of these gates and it split the skin in a couple of places. Oh, I wasn't happy about that. But anyway, we're okay now. So let's have a bit of, let's have a bit of that uh, yellow ochre and plenty of white and just get in a Doing this at a distance, I'm holding the brush at the end, and you can see how I've arranged my palette. Get quite uh, low in that horizon. Use some more of that, a bit heavy. So I'll put my trees over that. And we'll uh, put in a bit of cloud shadow. In here. Now I'm making this up as I'm going along. Let's get a bit of shadow in there, or a bit of light, shall we say. Uh, you can see it's getting a bit stiff the paint now because it's the paper's sucking out the oil. Right, let's put in a bit of a uh, bit of green, blue, red, yellow, only yellow. I'm trying to make this easy for you to see what I'm actually doing. I have a bit of a bit of a ochre in there. Keep the oil going. Okay, work we can work. Just just the uh, 
three primers mixed together give a nice lovely greens I'm going to do some more in I don't usually hold the brush like right, right from the from the tip, but it does make for a sort of random impressionism. Right, let's let's uh, leave that for a minute. Worry about the colour of the water because we've got a quite a strong sky, so we'll have to reflect some of those colours in the water with a few just highlights. Uh, okay, lovely green. I, I love using these three colours for for my greens and you can get so many different shades of green. Light to dark, you know. A little bit hit hitting this. I want to leave a bit of a gap underneath the trees for to show the trunks because they don't all trees don't all go down to the ground without without showing. So right, I do okay. nice bit of dark shadow here. We'll put a bit of sky colour in there. Do that now before I forget. Let's just straighten up that uh, horizon there. A bit of dark green. Uh, let's tap that in there. It's really more of a bellow in those trees there. That's it, that's better better. We can just bring those up a little bit. And then we'll uh, sort of taper those off a bit. Uh, so more blue. Touch of white in there. Oh, I just come across here. Oh, Prime Minister's question times today. We we'll never miss that. Okay, let's put a bit of texture in that foreground now. Uh, going to use this old brush here just to get some shadow. 
really shallow, so Oop. Well, just putting some shadow colour in, almost touching that to a red. Right, let's get some nice light in there now. Just an impression of stuff. that light in here. Okay, that'll do it for a moment. Uh, we'll do some stuff over the back there. The other side. It's got a light green now. Down here. Right, I'll just let that soak in a bit. I want to get that nicer with those sort of looking like those bits. Let's get my little, my little brush, which is there it is. Okay, let's get a bit of dark. Okay, it just shows a little bit. Put that with my brushes to clean. Otherwise, if you let your brushes go, uh, well, with oil paints, they'll stay moist for quite a time. And I clean them with uh, some some uh, washing up liquid, which is fantastic. And if you get it on your jeans, just put a blob on and just a bit of water, and all the oil will come out. Right now, let's choose, Oops, choose another. Another brush, I'll just put a clip on the end of my makeshift table to stop the brushes from coming up. So I'll use this, uh, what is it? Filbert. Filbert, it's got a slightly round, it's a flat brush but rounded at the tip. Uh, good for doing. So let's just get this in. Just fill the holes. Oh, 
있고요. Right, there we go. Turn that into water. Now, one or two ways to do that. One is to put reflections, other is to put ripples. So we're going to put ripples for those, to represent those light bits. Sort of an impressionist stroking in here. Look at me, my day book for that. Right, let's just give it this violet to go with this mauvey colour. Right, good. Enough. Let's put a bit of that uh, uh, bank growth. A bit of dark in there. Nice bit of red in there. Right, yeah, just put some of that reflection in here. Now we want some. Uh, lighter bits on there
Well, I'm not doing any detail. The only detail I've got is that those trunks there. Uh, but I want to just lighten lime on that a bit. Clean the brushes. I'll clean my brushes at the end, but using a use a towel, a bit of toweling, because it's rough or it's got you know it's got a a lovely surface that takes the, the paint out of the bristles. Uh, okay, back to that one. Nice bit of bit of yellow. Catching a bit of light. Just trying to create an impression. Soften there a bit. And a bit of, uh, a bit of ochre. Okay, well this one, I should just fill in that top bit of sky there, I think. Very tempting to, uh, to do sort of impressionist strokes. It's that contrast between light and, and dark. Okay, well I'm going to let that go. Let's go to another one now. Uh, or maybe a little bit of dark in there, a bit of shadow in there, a bit of oil. Okay, that'll do that. That is, gives an impression of, of a bit of, bit of detail. So it's a little simple river scene. Let's see what we make of this. I'll clean that white off. A uh, bit of the paper. Two for the price of one, eh? If you appreciate what I do, folks, I would also appreciate it if you would make a contribution on Patreon by having a month or two on there. It's very, very inexpensive, but it all helps to pay for the materials. Uh, right, okay. Uh, I, this way, this one, I'm going to put in the, uh, the, 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 four, the, the ground colour first. And then paint, paint down to it rather than over paint. It, it doesn't matter which way you go. It just makes a change, and you can feather the edges. That's no, nice. Put, put the white out. These tubes are painted about fifteen pounds a, a, a go. But now these are the student quality ones, Winton. And I've got data around here. Right, okay, so let's uh, 
Yeah, I, I, I'm haunted by this view. It's uh, the west of the Sussex salt marsh in Chichester Harbour, which is a very, very long piece of coast, low lying coast, <coughs> with a number of inlets and isthmuses uh, for yachts and the water, water things. So it goes from uh, in the distance, Portsmouth into this right up there. Then a couple of sort of hailing islands, which is just about an island, connected by a road bridge. We had a lovely three days there with friends in one of the Warner holiday hotels, leisure centres. No children, no gods, dogs, just the older people. But it was a lovely, lovely, we've had two of those, but I don't know how they're getting on in the lockdown, they're probably all shut. Which would be so sad. Right, okay, so blue, red, yellow. I can overlay the the, uh, the lighter stuff. Let's just bring that down into it because there's this bunch of trees along the road, the Chichester Road. South Bourne, that Bourne, Havant. Well, it really is lovely. Well, we used to tow our trailer when we were able, when we were a bit younger. Five, six. We packed it up about camping about six years ago. My trailer was too hard to to to, to put up. It's a lovely, lovely thing. To moderate some of that in here. So we're going into a distance as we're going out to the uh, sea. Okay, let's uh, do some marsh grass below that. Just some white and a bit of uh, ochre. This paper is Fabriana 130 pound uh, studio paper. It's very good for this. It, it, it's cheap, but it makes a very, very good surface to paint on. And I got fed up with, for the moment of cutting boards and painting them, waiting for them to dry or drying with the hair dryer. Now I'm going to put some, some dark stuff in there so that I can show the water. Right, let's do a bit of that tree. A big tree, a bunch of trees going from front to back. So we've got nice greens in there.
now we've got a bit of green foliage going around here shadow right okay that's, that's a start now let's carry on with some shadow in here some bushes just going out from there along there so let's get those in always dark against light So we'll sort that out in a minute. That's our water coming in from the sea into the marsh. Okay, well that's the basis of that. Now let's clean the brushes and have to be prepared for a, uh, a a painted hand. So when I've done these, I've got to, I'm going to upload it, wait for that, and then uh, make it live, and then put it on Facebook. So two for the price of one. Right, let's get, let's have a nice light sky in there. I think. Now we want to make clouds look as if they're going behind the uh, trees, not stopping at the trees. Okay, now we have some fun. Put in that colour in on the horizon. Bit of red. Bit of oil. I've got a lot of that green going into the sky there, it doesn't matter, we'll uh, let that soak in a bit and we can go back over it. Alright, let's get a nice uh, 
a bit of more white clouds. I remember when I first started oil painting, oh, decades ago, I would have my trees and I would fill the distance between the edge of the paper or board canvas panel and the trees with clouds. Oh, the clouds were great, but they're just totally unrealistic because it didn't go behind where they were supposed to go behind. So uh, it took a while to, to learn that. I will put in some nice shadows and the cloud shadows. I think I prefer the ochre colour to, to this. Oh, let's put in a bit of, bit of shadow. Just blue and red. I don't usually buy short hairs, um, but probably because the range at that time didn't have any of the longer, longer ones. high clouds, just filling in the holes really. Okay, crap now. A bit blue. Well, that's a different sky, isn't it? So uh, just we got that outline there. Right now we we'll go back on that tree. Change the brush. Back to that brush. I'll use that one. Right now we want some dark. Dark greens.
course I'm going to raise that end up there when I'm ready. Now we want some nice light greens now. I painted this from memory, it's, uh, I've done so many of them now, but they're all different, they all end up as standalone paintings. Now we'll get some darker greens in this foreground here, shadow. Now to make that shy show up a bit, a bit of red and blue. Okay. Now we'll go back to uh, I'll go back to that horizon there. Get a horizon brush. We'll have that the light, very, very light ochre. It's a bit better, although the land will be sloping into the sea. We've walked around this particular area a number of times. We, we went to Southbourne with our trailer, camping trailer. Very nice it was too. It had all mod cons, electric and fridge and telly. <laughs> uh, and we would just walk across the, the, uh, the road onto the marshes, the old fields to start with, then as you get towards the sea you can, the water was coming, tide was coming in or going out. Beautiful, beautiful. Miss it. There's a house, as you go into Bosham, Bosham, there's a lovely long house and it's owned by the brother of a very good friend of ours. It's the biggest house in Possum. So as you go in, it's called the Church, church House Farm. I think that's what they call it, Church House Farm or Church Farm. I, I painted it for the owner's uh, 60th birthday years ago. I think the front door was red, but he told me at a, at a do we had about his sister, my friends, held three or four years ago. Uh, and he told me that, he, that they painted the door white, or well, it was white and they painted it red. I said, oh, do you want me to come down and uh, change the door? He said, no, it's hanging in the hall above the, uh, the fireplace. I took quite a bit of uh, artistic license. I added trees that weren't there because I don't. I don't do commissions. I got fed up with them. People know how they want their houses and their trees and their, and their manicured roses around the windows. And I can't be doing all that. If if it doesn't give me satisfaction in doing what I want to do with it, I'm I'm just not interested. Sounds arrogant, but. But that's, that's the way it is. Right, let's get a bit of, bit of shadow and a bit of a reflection in there. And put a bit of uh, light, that light oakery. Just a bit of yellow ochre in with that. Right, now we can highlight that with uh, some darker 
really stuff. You've got to mix the red with that with the blue and the yellow to get that lovely green. I'll put a bit more light in the water. Separate that bit of the bush. Right, okay, now we're just getting a bit of a bit of um, nice light. Just rough that up a bit. Don't want hard edges. So that water just about shows, isn't it? Right now we've got to put that marsh in, all that salty uh, grasses. So I'll get my ha hairy brush here. I'll get some nice ochre, bit of oil. Now I know there's a little rough ground here and quite a few poppies and wildflowers. Well just it's got a bit of red with that to show some uh, marsh grass. I cheated there, there's a little bit of red ochre left on the palette, so I just nicked a bit of that. We want to get some shadow in there. Alright, let's add some uh, poppy things. Zip it I like. 
it, it's not really convincing, but you know, I'm not going to paint portraits of poppies, am I? It's, we want to just get a. Some of that. I remember that the green complements the red, or the red complements the green. And all sorts of colours here, a bit of a uh, bit of white. Frank Clark does this. That's a bit of a white, few white dots. Just gives an impression there's something going on. And we can have some blue. Cornflowers. Plenty of oil. Right, now there's no detail in any of that. They're just impressions. Uh, I've once you, well, are you? I, no, I'm not going to even think about it. It's what it is. It's an impressionist painting. Once it would be very difficult for me to put lines of trunks and stuff in there because of the, the roughness of the paper, and I don't like using white spirit to dilute the paint. One, it ruins your brushes. White spirit. It makes them very brittle and it's toxic. And that's the last thing I want. Right now, what we're going to do now is just just to uh, dismantle everything and show them in, in, in a mount. They are painted two at the same time as, well, as a single demonstration. So I'll take that off, let it be. Take that off. And I'll take that off. And we'll show one at a time in a mount. So let's just move that to that side. Just, I'll just put a bit of tape in the bottom of 